and niggas can't get over. I can't mess with rappers, they be bogey. Rather get the pack and keep the over. Big dripper stand up in the ocean. Everybody trapping, we get low. He ain't focused yet, yeah, but he ain't got motion. Made a half a ticket out from ocean. Shout out to Right, cause they gon' say, so y'all can't. Shout out to You answer too quick. Surviving Royal Caribbean. That's what that's the name of this vlog. Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. So for those of you who are new, my name is Andrea. My friends call me E, and we're doing a travel vlog this time. We are on a Royal Caribbean cruise. This is day one. How many days we here? Five. Five. Five days. First impressions of the room. It is pretty small. Um, and you can tell this is an older ship, but this is home. Nothing we can do about it. We'll just have a good time. We plan on spending the majority of the time outside the room anyway. So we had to start off with a drink because it's been an interesting morning. I'm not even going to get into it right now. I'll talk about that later, but it's been an interesting morning. We needed to get a drink. Mm, 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 mm. So me and Marquita are sharing a room. Hi. <laughs> hi, hi. Marquita is here. Hi. We're the only two only two girls on the trip together. Everybody else a guy. So how many people is it? Uh probably twelve or thirteen. Mm -mm. See that's a lot of people. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was all the folks. Yeah, it's a lot. Mm-hmm. And everybody else got balcony rooms. But somebody didn't want to get a balcony. I didn't want to get a balcony room because I don't trust myself in the balcony. Like I just feel like I'm gonna fall overboard. And even with the window, I really hope that I don't get sick. I'm an interior room girl. Like I don't mind the, the uh -uh. interior rooms. No, no interior rooms over here. So we got the window, and because we got the window, we're on the lower floors. Everybody else is on like six, eleven, sixteen, ten, mm -hmm. and we on floor two. We down here with the crew. Every door, <laughs> getting off the elevator, say crew only, crew only, crew only. But we okay, it's okay. Yeah, we're gonna make them the, the best of it. Cause like I said, we only plan on being in a room for a short period of time to shower, sleep, shower, sleep. That's it. That's it. All right, so we're about to chill out for a little bit and then we're gonna meet up with some other folks. And of course y'all are coming with, cause we on a cruise. <laughs>
like TMI, I'm on my cycle. So yeah, uh, needed to come back to the room and change because it's not looking great, but our luggage has been delivered. So I'm gonna hop in the shower and kind of like refresh and put on a dress um, and get cleaned up and all of that other stuff. Yeah, I'm just feeling very not pretty. Um, and yeah, I cannot believe, I cannot believe this. All right, I'll figure the camera when I'm getting, when I'm dressed. I need to figure out if I can use regular charges because I didn't bring any um, converters. But look at this, the ship has these plugs. So I don't know if I can use the regular plug right here or if I have to have that European plug. And then you have this one right here. So I hope I don't need a converter because I'm gonna be pissed if I have to buy one, especially when I have two at home. We'll see. All right guys, hey. <laughs> so I just got out of the shower. The shower was fine. The water pressure is non-existent, honestly. Like, it's non-existent. Let's just be real. The water doesn't get hot enough, but again, just for a few days, we can make it through no complaints no complaints no complaints i'm trying to convince myself of this um so what what time is it hold on let me get my watch um okay it's 5 20. i don't think our dinner in, is until like eight o'clock i don't really feel like leaving a room right now i just want to kind of woo because it's been an adventurous morning Okay, now I can take the time to do that. To tell y'all what happened. So my flight uh, was scheduled to leave at 6. I got to the airport. It was 5.30. I checked in my bag. It was 5.46. Um, no, 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 no. That's not true. I got to the airport at about 5. I checked in my bag at like 5.16. And if you check in your bag less than 45 minutes before the flight, you'll get this noise from the kiosk, from the check bag kiosk with Southwest. So I got that noise and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm less than 45 minutes to check my bag. The check bag line to, no, the drop bag line in Southwest at Love Field is so long during the summer. This happened last year with us on the essence the line is so long so trying to be me just trying to outsmart the system i went outside back outside to the um sky cap while i was there this lady was like oh if you're just dropping off your bags you have to go inside so i'm like what and she was like Oh, you're going to Orlando with your you're at when you're on the six o'clock. She was like, You're not gonna make it. Let's go ahead and rebook you. So I was like, Okay. She was like, Well, I can rebook rebook you on the 9 30 flight, but it won't get there till 4 30. And I was like, Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Knowing that our boarding time for the ship was at two. So I was like, No, 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 that's not gonna work. I'ma just chance it to make sure I can make the six o'clock. So I get in line, the line is moving pretty quickly. Um, as I'm in line, maybe like halfway through, I get an alert um, saying that your flight has been delayed from six o'clock to now 6.31. And I was like, perfect, I can easily make that. So I checked my bag, no issues. We were underway, got there, got to the gate. And they were like, hey guys, we're probably not gonna be um, making it. We're probably not gonna be leaving at 6.30. We'll probably end up leaving um, later. There's been a sewage backup and air traffic control in Orlando at one of the towers. It's outside of Southwest control. This is affecting everybody flying into Orlando right now. So we're just gonna have to wait and see. So they ended up rescheduling the fight, flight to, I wanna say 8.03 was the departure time, which we kept. Um, so instead of getting in Orlando at like 9.30, I want to say we got here at 12.30 or something like that. I don't know. So two hours past the time we were supposed to get here. 
So it was like, we landed, it was probably about 11.45 instead of 9.45. So yeah, about two hours later because there is a change in time. So we got to Orlando, no issues, um, you know, in the air. We got here and we had to sit and wait on the tarmac until a gate was ready so that we can pull in. When we got to baggage claim, baggage claim, I want to say I waited maybe almost like another 30 minutes before the bags even came off the belt. Now, I was nervous because had I have been on that 6 o'clock flight, my bag would have been late. So I was like, oh my gosh, I really hope my bag made it. Thankfully, it made it. Got my bag. And we were flying down the highway trying to get to the port, to our terminal. Um, thankfully, we made it. And we made it on the ship. So, yeah, all is well there. Uh, and so it's just been a crazy morning. My my friend Marquita, who, you know, we're sitting in a room together, she left the champagne we got because we was going to get champagne and just bring it on board because you can bring wine and champagne on board. You can bring a bottle for each day. I think that's how it was set up for Royal Caribbean. So you don't have to sneak that on. Like, you could sneak the hard liquor, but we was just like, we, we too grown. So we just went on ahead and got the um, drink package to all you can drink. So, um, yeah, so that's what we ended up getting. But she left the champagne, she left her watch, um, and some other stuff that she left because she had a crazy day and then my flight was delayed, my bags were delayed, and then we picked up Nick and Don Terry's at the airport. We landed about the same time. Um, they missed their first flight, so. It's just been a mess for all of us. So we literally have been scrambling. So that's why as soon as we got on the ship, we was like, let's go get a drink. Y'all know I haven't really been drinking, but I needed a drink today. By the way, I love the way my hair turned out, but I did bring some pipe cleaners because like these down here are falling. So let me curl these while I'm just sitting in the room. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to the next day. <laughs> so today's day two on the cruise. We just finished eating breakfast. Um, I don't know if I recorded anything there or not, but nothing exciting. Um, I'm about to get in the shower, you know, freshen up and all of that stuff for the day. Um, today's a cruising day, so we do not leave the ship today. Tomorrow is our first stop. Uh, the first stop tomorrow is Puerto Plata, um, Dominican Republic. And so we're there from, I think we dock at either 10 or 10.30 through 4.30. So that's the plan for tomorrow. So today it's more of exploring the ship. Um, we want to like play bingo, do karaoke, rock climbing, things like that. So of course you all are coming along with me on the ride to exploring the ship. So yeah, that's what we got going on yesterday, y'all. Like, the last thing I remember saying is, oh, I'm about to just chill out a little bit. Y'all, I was knocked out for hours. I was so tired. So I didn't do much. I didn't even go to dinner with everybody. So when I got up, it was maybe around 10.30 or so. And there wasn't many food options available. It was only like the pizza place that had pizza little sandwich wraps and like little desserts that was it so i ended up eating some pizza and if you know i am not really a pizza eater anymore i'm not really a, a dairy eater anymore but that's what i hate i didn't have too many other things to choose from i did get some of the wraps but they didn't taste like much so yeah but let me hop in the shower get ready get dressed and then i'll pick up the camera a little bit later this is what I'm wearing for today it's a little dark but this is that dress from the last vlog I was like if you see me wearing it once a week that's none of your business so I put this on it has the pockets oh, for a dress um, I don't know what we're getting into today but I feel like this dress can go with everything um, I have on a little makeup just a little bit of the elf glow filter what is it called the hard glow liquid filter by elf have on a little bit of this 
a little bit of a little bit of the Dan Danessa Myricks Beauty, the Yummy Skin Bellini Blush, and a little bit of mascara. And I have on the Elf um, Lip Oil. And that's pretty much it. Very light. Again, I don't know what we're getting into today, but I figured that's the attendant that's really loud but i figured no matter what we get into i can wear this for a little bit and if we get into the water or the pool or anything like that which i highly doubt we do um i can just change but i highly doubt we do that on the ship because it looks like so far we've only seen one adults only pool um and it's really really small and then they had two pretty nice size jacuzzis i want to say if it's 15 16 people and it was two of them um, and I think that's it. So not a hundred percent sure. Um, we haven't checked like the, the top top. I keep playing in my hair cause my curls are, you know, everywhere. So I can't wear my bang because they're too long. I need to retwist them. So I'm going to try to put it to the side. I didn't bring any like hair clips or anything like that with me. So yeah so let's go find marquita and the rest of the group i have no idea where anyone is i do not have the wi-fi package i just felt like for what so i didn't get it um but yeah other than that i'm feeling okay i have not taken a drama mean today um i'm feeling a little like shaky with the boat but not enough for me to be like no let me take something um, but other than that, we're good. We're cool. I smell really, really good. I have on some shea butter. I have on some shea butter with the amber white super oil. Um, I get it from my oil person, scentaromaoils.com. They have a um, brick and mortar store in St. Charles Mall in Maryland. So I like to go there when I go home. So I have this on. And I'm also wearing the Angel Share uh, from Scent Aroma Oils as well. It's the oil. I just spray some of this on. This is my all the time scent. Love, love, love. So let me put that in my face. And that's it. That's it. But let's go explore. <laughs> Hey guys, so 
much more later. I took a little nap. <laughs> you girl ain't no spring chicken, so I'll be tired. But I changed into my swimsuit with this cover up I got from Bali. And we're about to head to the pool area. I think that's where all the guys are. Me and Marquita need a nap. <laughs> so she's gonna meet up with us for dinner. We have dinner at 5.30 at the sushi place. Um, so yeah, let's go find where everybody is. Nick got kicked out of our room because he came in there with all that noise. But I told him I'll meet him at the pool area, so that's what we Take had. Nine. All right.
There's land. And all the windmills. Okay, hey, finished the workout on our way to breakfast because we're starving. I keep looking at my hair. I love it curly, but it keeps, it's falling already. But whatever, it's just hair. <laughs> All right guys, made it to DR. So port, pulling up the port now, but then we're gonna start this Sudoku hopefully at nine. I haven't seen anybody. And then go to our room, get changed, and head on off the ship. We don't know what we're doing, where we're going, but this is, you know, who can complain? ready to leave the ship I curled my hair again I've been like doing this every night now because I feel like my curls have been dropping which is I guess is fine but I don't know I'm being a little anal about it we have no idea what we're doing when we get off the ship like we didn't book any type of excursions um, we didn't book any of like the beach clubs we're just winging it really but yeah I put on some of this glow oil sps 50 it's a sunscreen water resistant from super Gloop. i put some of this on and then i'm gonna take the black girl sunscreen make it glow with me and then i have the black girl sunscreen of course on my face this is my everyday sunblock so i have this on i put a little bit of my musk oil um, i really don't know the name of this i got it from when we were in qatar so i put some of that on and then i sprayed a little bit of the toujours l'amour that i made when we were in new orleans um, at essence fest last year tijon from that place y'all it's been a year i can't believe that was just last year and a year has gone by so fast but yeah, that's what I have on. So I smell really, really good. I'm wearing this two piece set from Shein. I've worn this before. And I'm going to put on this cover up. This is from Boohoo. I got this um, right before Bali last year. Like, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. My skin looks good. I have on no makeup. No makeup. I think there might be a filter on this camera though, by the way. <laughs> um, but yeah. You ready? Mm -hmm. Wait, are you getting out here now? Yeah, yeah. What you doing? Might as well take a whole bath. And then what you want that on camera? It's yeah, gonna on be on there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what y'all gonna do? Y'all uh, they, they ready. Y'all, as soon as we got off, y'all, as soon as we got off the boat, I don't know how, but my camera is dead already. So thankfully I have my phone and I have an external battery. I can actually plug my camera up, but I'm just gonna use it for my phone. I don't know what was going on. But, um, y'all, I don't know how we signed up for this thing where it's $75 a person. We get on a bus or something, I don't know. They take us to some beach. All you can eat, all you can drink, pools. I don't know, y'all. I, I, if you know me, you know I'm typically the planner, but this trip I decided not to be, so I really don't know all that's going on. I'm just following the leader. But, um, okay, let's see what's going on.
food. Escovitch fish, some basmati rice, and I don't know what that is. Some beef patties, um, beans and rice, rice and beans, some roti, um, and that's it for right now. Yeah, let's eat. Good morning, good morning, good morning. And today is Tuesday. Yes, happy Tuesday. So we're getting the day started. Slow start this morning. It's about 9.30. We have been docked at Turks and Caicos now for probably an hour, I feel like. And we are still on the ship. And um, we're just waiting for everybody to get ready. We said we'll meet up about 10 and today is just supposed to be another beach day i don't know my queen and i we want to go parasailing so hopefully we can find somewhere to do that because that wasn't offered um in the excursion so yeah i don't know we have to find somewhere where we can go to do that but let me finish getting dressed and i'll pick up the camera whenever we finally make it off of this boat because honey i'm tired of sitting here on this boat we were supposed to have been off this boat Okay guys, we just now get off the boat. It is 10.53. We've been docked again since 8.30. As soon as we were about to leave, they were like, oh, now we gotta wait 30 minutes so that carnival can dock. So I would suggest whenever you get to your port to get off the boat when you can um, because you don't know if they're gonna close the gateway or anything like that. We have no idea what we're about to do, but we're gonna figure it out. Look at these. Perry. I hate Perry. Yeah. Yeah. The fucking head. Talk and drag with them. What up, yeah, I don't care. Do you think I'm gonna come and edit y'all out anyway? I can't. Oh. Yeah, man. We made it. We made it. Hey, y'all. Y'all got something to drink? It's making me hot. Again, you. Oh, I'm about to come out. Uh, won't he live? Yes, dissertation. You're gonna be a doctor. 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 You'll be a therapist, right? We only here. Hey, fellas. We here. Yeah, the jazz key is one. One twenty-five for twenty-five minutes. Two forty. So we ain't gotta pay them $160? I don't know. All right guys, so we made it to the beach. Um, it seems like everybody's paying the same price. The two, uh, two chairs and an umbrella for $40. That seems to be the going rate across the board. We asked other people. Um, that just includes the chairs and access to the Wi-Fi. Uh, they do the clear kayak photo, drone photo thing. If y'all want to do that, I don't know how much that costs. They also have jet skis out here. We're going to do parasailing because that's what we have been wanting to do. Um, I'm going to say that's $85 per person for parasailing. Um, what else? There's food places out here and drink places out here. Um, but nothing's included. We talking about his my money too. What? I got a little distracted. <laughs> you hear me? Did you see that man? Did you not see that man? Uh -uh. He ain't had no no wedding band on either. That's what's happening. <laughs> and y'all, it's hot. But it feels good. Let me show y'all that. That's what we looking like.
we are back oh what time is it it's 2 30. the we don't leave port until 4 30 i think y'all it's so hot out there like it's just extremely hot and then the sand is just so hot oh my gosh of course i have sand everywhere but made it back um, everybody kind of left at different times. So I grabbed some comforters while I was out there. They weren't badly priced. I want to say they were like $10 and he gave me like, like nine or something. Anyway, you cannot bring food on the ship. So I had to eat them right out front. And then the wind blew and it knocked like four of them down. So luckily I was finished eating anyway. Oh my gosh, I have so much sand in my shoe and I just got it all over the carpet. So with Royal Caribbean, um, you download their app and you use their app pretty much for everything. If you wanna make dinner reservations, if you wanna book excursions through the ship, um, you wanna know what the daily planner is, uh, all of that stuff is in their app. So I do appreciate that. Um, wind jammer is closing at 3. So I am not about to shower shower. But I am going to change my shoes. So that I can get out of the sand. And then that way we'll get in there before lunch is over. And we'll be good. So let's go there. Outfit check. <laughs> So, I have on the, the um, I don't even know what this is, the purple two-piece from Shein that I showed in a couple blocks ago. I'll link that above. Um, and then these little floral light shorts. I got these from Ross. Uh, yeah, that's what we're wearing. We're just stopping by the pool, hang out for a little bit, and then I'm going to come back, change, and be ready for dinner because I'm starving. Starving, 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 starving. So, let's go to the pool. Alright guys, just quickly change. This is one of the dresses I got from Shein as well. Again, it's in that last vlog or the vlog before that. And my purse. And my shoes from Miss Lola. So, don't mind Diego in the background. <laughs> we learned it's some Spanish. <laughs> All right, I'm starving. Or is it? It's afternoon actually. It's like right after 12, like maybe 12.10. Yeah, it's exactly 12.10. We have lunch reservations at 12.15, so I'm kind of rushing. I went to the gym for a little bit and yeah. <laughs> so I threw this two piece set on. I got this from Shein as well. It's in my last video. Um, I think this set is so cute. I love the color. This is in a medium. What's going on right now? I'm gonna take you all with me. We have lunch at the steakhouse um, that's on board. It's called Chop Grill, I think. Um, I'm looking forward to it. We did, well, I had breakfast. Marquita didn't. I had a little bit of breakfast this morning. Um, so, I'm not starving, but yeah. I'm not starving, but I'm looking forward to eating. I can always go for a steak. I hope 
hopefully they have lobster for lunch i'm not sure i know they have it for dinner so if they don't have lobster on the menu um for lunch i'll just hold off for that for dinner but i am going to get my steak though medium i need to put some lotion on my feet today's been a slow morning we're at sea today so we're just you know doing activities and stuff hopefully we get to rock climb we missed that this morning we did do like the trivia um which was okay it was a lot of people there for trivia this morning that was at like 9 30 10 no i'm sorry that was at like 10 o'clock because i didn't get up to like nine um just my shoes are back up there they've already cleaned the room this morning Oh, I'm going to change into my cute little bag. I actually don't. I'm just going to grab my extra battery, some mints, and my little coin purse that I've been keeping with me to put in my sea pass that you need for everything here on the ship. Throwing some lip gloss. to put my necklace on all right it's 12 15 i'm gonna go y'all are coming with me let's roll oh it's right here <laughs> you know i had no idea where it was Did you get my note? yes i saw it but i was i was like i had to meet for a note because i called over and you know i don't know where nothing is what you found there yeah I
running late once again with Snoop. <laughs> Dinners. Our dinner reservation started about five minutes ago, but it's okay. They were late yesterday, so we figured they're probably going to be the same way today, but we're going to go. This is what I have on. I've worn this before. I don't know where I got this from. Where did I get this dress from? I think it I think I got it from Amazon yeah just a little flurry dress I've wore it on the um the first time I wore it was on that wine train up in grapevine if I can find it I'll link it below if I can find it but yeah I feel like my hair looks crazy because I've been wearing it up and I have not let it down in a couple of days. So, yeah, but we're ready to go. I'm starving once again. What's new? No idea what time it is. I just looked at my phone. It's 9.18. We're finally at the last stop. Coco, Coco Bay. Coco Bay? I don't know. Something like that. It's the uh, Royal Caribbean Island in the Bahamas. So, oh, I still looked at my phone and... 9.19. It's 9.19. My daughter tried that. <laughs> I beat her so hard. She died. 9.19. Yeah. That was on Madea Goes to Jail. The play. Uh, we have no plans for today, but we're getting off the ship. Um, we don't know really how everything is set up, but we'll see. I know there's a lot of like beach club, water park, all of that stuff at an extra cost. We did not sign up for any excursions, things like that. They have jet skis. Um, there's another Royal Caribbean ship right next to us. Allure. Allure. So, there's enough people. <laughs> there's enough people on here. Um, but they're all Royal Caribbean um, cruisers. Yeah, we just finished eating breakfast. And like I said, we're just about to go to the beach and figure out what we want to do. Because we have no plans at all. I know I'm tired. I'm ready to go home. I'm just like, man, we just got to get through this day. And then we leave in the morning. We did karaoke last night. Marquita was drunk. <laughs>
chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. We're back from the island. We're back on board. It's 3.50. They want us back by 4.30. They ain't got to worry about us ever missing a cruise. Ever missing the ship. Ever, 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 ever. So we're really about to chill out because we're tired. We're hot. More hot than tired. So yeah, um, we'll probably be getting ready for dinner soon. Um, I don't, yeah, we'll probably get ready for dinner soon. Then we want to do rock climbing and fireworks as well. So we'll check in a little bit later. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and happy Saturday, folks. As you can see, we are back home. We made it back yesterday afternoon, um, yesterday evening. All is well. Um, I just wanted to come back on camera and close out this vlog. Thank you so much for traveling with me on the Royal Caribbean. What's the name of it? Adventure of the Sea. We were there for six days, five nights. Um, all, all in all, I would rate the cruise maybe about... 7.5 or 8 out of 10. Um, I know that they did have a lot of activities, but I felt like a lot of that stuff wasn't really like interesting to the single age group type of folks. Like we're all in our 30s, mid 30s, early. No one's in their 40s, but almost. Um, so I feel like there wasn't a whole lot of activities for us to do, which is why we, you know, we had cards and we can entertain ourselves and we just sat at the bar and drank. So I wish there were a little more, um, activities that we could have done and been interested in. Um, so that was that the food was good. I'm not going to say the food was nasty. The food was pretty good at the buffet. You had plenty of things to choose from. Um, so I think that there was something for everyone. I'm going to do a separate video on kind of like some tips and tricks on cruising. So um, stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you do not miss that video. But yeah, I would give it 7.5, 8 out of 10. So yeah, I would do it again. But I think I would not cruise probably for another three to five years. Um, and it's really because I'm not a big cruise person. I am a fly and meet you there person than cruises because I just feel like the fastest way to get sick is on a cruise because <laughs> when one person sick two person six three per so that was the only thing about that um also we found out there were 3,795 passengers excluding crew and staff um on a crew on a cruise so we did not, well, I did not realize it was that many people. I will say the crews, the staff and all that, they kept everything flowing. So there was never a time where we felt like that was, you know, that many people getting on and off the boat, dinner, lunch, um, breakfast at any, t never did I think that it was that many people that actually my number was like 1700. I want to say Marquita was the closest without going over. Cause I think she guessed about 3,500. 
And so, yeah, that was actually pretty interesting that it was that many people. But yeah, we did have a good time. Everybody had a good time. I think, um, yeah, I think everybody would rate it pretty high as well. Um, a lot of people had been on Carnival uh, recently. Um, and so I think that we all kind of agreed that Carnival was a lot of fun. But Royal was definitely more, um, what's the word? Like, we didn't have AC go out, you know what I mean? And there were not as many kids, apparently, but there were a lot of kids on our ship. I will say that there were a lot of kids, a lot of 18 and younger, um, trying to be into the 18 and over stuff. But again, I'll get into that on my tips and tricks um, video that I'm gonna shoot probably like right after this. So again, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below if you have any questions I can address in the next video. Make sure you leave them below and follow me on IG at Lucky Lee. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.